This is how I got a 60 year old approved for an investment property for 30 years loan term. Woo! But first, with consent, check the video. Hello, Con. Hey, Confit, how are you? Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. I just called Key because um, we're. Are you I didn't hear before you're, you're ringing yet. Oh, you got the key. So, yeah, I just want to tell you, you know that uh, your loan has settled. Yeah, so, yeah, you. you're picking up the keys. Yeah, this is time to 5 o'clock, yes. Yeah, so it's a good result, man. You know, your second property and, uh, you know, you're nearly 60. <laughs> uh, thank you for great help. Yeah, you, you helped me a lot. Yeah, no worries, eh? Uh, tell me if you're going to buy another one, eh? Yeah, yeah. Because you, I, I think... Buy, I, I buy for my kids, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, bye. Okay. Right. Thank you, thank you. No worries. Thank Have a good night. Thank you. As you can see, client is very happy with my service. Uh, this client actually came to me through TikTok and uh, he went through many brokers, many bankers, but obviously like most of you who've been through my videos before contacting me for my services, he knows I'm a very outside the box, solution-based broker, inside, outside, whatever the uh, funders are, I'll get him the solution. I just got a message from him at 5.48 p.m. Thanks, Crane, I just got the key. Thanks again. So let's go behind the scenes and break down this purchase. So let's hit the loan structuring. The client is purchasing an investment property. This is his second property. Um, it's on Post Street, on Ride, and it's a apartment. The purchase price is $1,131,000 contract price, and he only wants to borrow 690K, which is 61% of this purchase price. I can actually get him 80%, but he doesn't want to borrow that much due to his age. And settlement was today. So over here is the contract. This is the property. It was a six week settlement, 42 days. The purchase price was 1,131. He paid 113,000 for his 10% deposit. And he purchased this on the 12th of October, 2022. So as you can see from the timeline, he purchased this about a month ago and he actually had a approval with a banker. Now he knew he was 60 years old. He did his due diligence. He got a pre-approval before with a banker. But then when he went to convert the pre-approval, the banker was like, oh, sorry, we can't get you the loan anymore. Two things that reneged him on the loan. Basically, he was 59 and then he, uh, he turned 60 upon the day that he purchased that uh, property. And also the banker was junior. His notes were sloppy. Uh, the submission must have been very sloppy. In a nutshell, this client of mine uh, who's 60 years old, male, uh, he has a prime place of resident, PPOR, and he has a loan on it, about 80%, right? And uh, his objective is to buy this new investment property in Ride, a unit around one mil, and uh, only want to borrow 61%. Now, the reason it was declined prior with the bank that he was dealing with was, you know, they were uncomfortable with his age. Um, they were saying, in order for us to do the loan right now, rather than 30 years, we want uh, 15 years. I obviously got him 30 years uh, with my lender at 5.49% for 690. The repayment is this much. But imagine if it was 15 bloody years, the repayments will become $5,634. That's an extra two bloody grand per month. So this is the trick guys. When you're applying with the funder or the lender you're going with, don't expect them to give you recommendations on how to get the 30 year loan. So I had to write them an exit letter and I'll show you it right now. Working with his uh, financial planner and his accountant, the exit letter looks like this, which stipulates how he will be paying down the loan when he hits 78, when he plans to retire. The reason the bank wants an exit strategy is because, you know, he's 60 years old. If he applies for a 30 year loan term, he'll be bloody 90. Obviously he's not gonna be working until 90, he'll probably be dead by then. So the bank wants to know, well, what is, what is he gonna do to achieve uh, a 30 year loan and give them a, a, a nice way for the bank to accept that he can pay down a loan in like, for example, 15 years, but without having 15 years loan term over his head. So the strategy that he'll do that I discussed with his uh, financial planner and accountant was that he can downsize his house and basically live in a smaller place. And obviously we listed where the address will be and how would that look. And with the sale of his PPOR, how that can pay down the new ride investment loan. And it will also said in even tough times, he can also sell this unit and pay down a loan quickly. Also, he had some money in his super fund and how that will be allocated to pay towards uh, the loan if anything was to happen or he decided to retire early. But what I show you was just a one pager. It was actually, you know, very, very thick uh, document that I produced for the client with the help of the accountant and the financial planner. Within four weeks, I got this client's purchase over the line and look at the rental, about 900 to 950 for this uh, investment property. So for this client, even though he's 60, he still has another investment property. It's not too late 
and you know by the time he's 78 he can you know probably that property has doubled his collecting rent he's looking at a very nice retirement so guys jump in the comments what do you think maybe your parents could still buy a property i don't know <laughs>